to Crafters TV. My name is Ben Mosby. Thank you for joining us here this Sunday. I have to keep double checking myself. Sunday, su su Sunday. It is a Sunday. I am meant to be here. Doesn't happen very often. Uh, but oh, what a Sunday we're having. We're having so much fun. If you were with us earlier on, you'll know that we have had a brilliant £15, $15 craft bolt. A lot of those deals still on the website for you. So do check that out. Uh, and still to come today, Second Chance Sunday. Uh, but right now we are crafting along um, one of our, well, fantastic shows, award-winning show, where you get to craft along with us on a project in real time. And not only that, uh, you do have the opportunity to join us on these shows as well. What more could you want uh, for this time on a Sunday? Um, can I just say as well, happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there too. Um, and as we discussed earlier on, not just in the US, but right across the world, uh, just not the UK. I mean, happy Mother's Day to you in the UK as well. Uh, but we aren't doing it today. Everyone else is, apparently. Um, to celebrate that fact, we are giving you double points across everything on the website, on all the shows, for everybody, for today only. So it's a great opportunity uh, to be stocking up on uh, all your crafty goodies. Also on the website right now is our spring savings event up to 70% off a whole host of different ranges for you on the website. And I tell you what, uh, there is lots to be searching through, lots to be looking for, and loads and loads of great deals. Actually, uh, loads of little items that you might want to pop into your basket which might potentially get you over that free shipping threshold or if you've just got a few bucks few pounds to spend today uh, items that you might like to pop into your basket so here we go oh what's that at the top of the website there what's that the, what's the thing up there the blue what the what new template library that doesn't launch till tomorrow what's that doing there on the website Who's put that there? Let's click on the 70% off uh, <laughs> thing. Just gloss over that. Who put that on there? Wasn't me. And here we go. Look at all these items uh, which you can grab with up to 70% off. You have got uh, Bell Countryside stamps in there. We've got creator card dies. We've also got um, embossing folders from the Masquerade Ball, £1.79. Uh, we've got garden party goodies. We've got nature's garden, delightful daisies dies. We've got items on here for less than £2, which is incredible stamps from the natural beauty collection we've got items for less than a pound Sharon Callis sensational succulents in there nature's garden farmhouse collection there is loads in there if you've only got a few pounds or dollars to spend today let me point you in the direction of that area on the website uh, and you can get cracking one of my picks I know I had earlier on the um, uh, the uh, pack and pops uh, this hour on the I can't believe we're doing this as part of the spring savings 40% off our illustrated in the uh, the figure, 30% off the illustrators. Uh, you're going to be getting um, the 12. Uh, f oh, sorry. 12. <laughs> I know what you sorry. just saw. Hashtag totally unprofessional. Uh, uh, you'll see you you'll see in a minute what I'm arming at. We've got a fabulous guest um, on the craft along called Tracy, and actually she's got another guest with her. This is a really small, cute doggy. Anyway, uh, back to professionalism. 30% off the uh, illustrators here. Uh, you're paying just £17.49 or $31.49 uh, for these. And that's before your discount. So jump in and grab those um, as part of the spring savings. Not just me with me top picks. Before we get into the craft along, let's see what uh, Corinne's got. What you got there? I've got some bits of storage here. Look at this. This is your brilliant storage it's your it's a crafty carry but it's just perfect for on your desk yeah i use this for projects so if i'm doing a project maybe one that's a little bit long you know a bit more um time consuming i can put everything in here that i need i can cut my uh, paper pads in i've got my plates in here i might have my ink pads in here my stencils my stamps everything look at all of these pockets you've got extra little bits here little bits right at the front you've got the dividers oh this is really full this one you're not going to get the contents obviously no but you're getting the dividers in there you've got pockets at the ends you look how well it holds everything now yeah we're going to give you this really, really deep pocket. And look how sturdy it is. 30% off this today, £20.99 or $24.99 in the pink. I love pink. You all know I love pink. So how about grabbing this, keeping your desk area? Now, if I was to let... I think the thing that... The way I know when storage is good is if what I put in it takes up a lot more space or loose, then I know that, the, that it's really good. Sorry, I'm digressing. 
Ben doesn't want me to talk anymore. No, go I do, I do, this. I do. No, I you do. don't. You want to go and do something else, so I'm going to let you. Go on. <laughs> go, go, go. No, because we're not even at the point where we're introducing Tracy yet, because you've got to say what the craft along is and then go through everything, and then we, then we introduce. But, oh, she's put, she's put the... Oh, no, no, she hasn't. Should, do, we, do you want to say hello to Tracy go first? On, then. Okay. Uh, we've got a fantastic guest on our craft along. Tracy, how are you? I'm well, thanks, and you? Oh, really this good. Who's the little one? Ruby. She's 12 weeks old yesterday, and she's a little munchkin. Oh, uh, you didn't have Ruby last time we crafted along, did you? No, no. Oh, when did you? She? When did you pick her up? She's a dog. When did you pick her up? <laughs> uh, the end of April. Oh, and, and what breed is she? She's a miniature pincer. Oh, she's the cutest thing. I, is this her first time on live TV? It's her first time <laughs> on live TV, yes. Oh, and, and, and has she been good in the, in the uh, first few weeks you had her? Has she been a, a good little puppy? Um, yes, but she's discovered where the cat litter is. Ah, I was going to say, last time you were on, we, you, we, we, we saw the cat, didn't we? Remind me of the cat's name. Heidi. Yes. So, are they getting on or not really? Um, Jess plays with her. That's a black and white one. Uh -huh. And Heidi wants nothing to do with her. Fine. But that's all right. I think it's still very early days. Yeah. Um, and ha it, it, Jess is amazing with her. That yeah. They play together like two dogs really oh and how big she's not going to get very big is she no she probably gets about the size of a cat oh Maybe larger what, than a cat what you'll find as well um because obviously uh, we've we've got two dogs and um, we did have our cat sadly passed away in february but um our um when we brought our puppy back molly um she was she's a border collie but she's obviously teeny tiny and the cat put the dog in place very quickly to kind of say, look, I'm, I'm in charge here, you'll do as I say. So that's probably what will happen with yours, I would imagine, do you think? Yes, so uh, we've just had her for four weeks already, and she's just about potty trained to go on the pads, um, that she hates the wet grass. Yeah. She literally just puts her bum over the grass <laughs> and stays on the pavement to go for a week. It's hilarious. <laughs> And then she goes out to do her business and she's like, I'm not going on the, the wet grass. You must think I'm mad. And then runs inside and goes and use the pad, the puppy training pad. It's hilarious. She's like the queen in the house. Honestly, she is. I love that. I love that. I mean, I wouldn't want to go on wet grass either, if no. I'm being honest with you. You know, who would? <laughs> uh, but, well... Uh, I'm so, so excited to see you again. Lovely to see the, uh, the little puppy as well. Is she, uh, is she interested in your, in your craft room and all things crafty? Um, no, she quite likes chewing cables. Right. I'll figure that out. But um, hopefully she's going to settle down that I'm going to give her a bone. Yes. Now, chew, so I can craft. And then hopefully she'll also go to sleep. Excellent stuff. And if we lose you at any point over the next two hours, we'll know whose fault it is because she'll have uh, <laughs> chewed through yes. a cable. Uh, well, listen, Tracy, we'll come back to you very shortly. We'll let you put um, Ruby just to bed for a second, but so lovely to, to see you and her. Uh, it's going to be a great, great show. I know it is. Um, Corinne, let's, um, mm. how cute. Uh, let's have a look at what we're going to be making. Yes. Can you take us through what we're going to need? Yes. So here is what we're going to be making. It is a lovely fold back card. I've used one of the deep um, border dies in the centre and we've done some paper piecing and we've made a shaker with it as well. You can do so many different things. I had a go at one point I did, thought do I want to put my card you know my pattern card that run there run it through the back lots of different ways, lots of different thoughts but the one thing we've done is I've kept this flush at the front so all of the shaker element is hidden at the back. All of the workings are at the back. So gotcha. we're going to be doing that. And again, it's up to you what sentiment you put there. I'm looking at that. I think I might change the sentiment up a little bit for the final one. 
Mm, I think I might. Mm. We'll see. Well, there we go. Um, yeah. So let's have a look at what you're going yes. to need. I don't think there's an overly lot. Not an overly lot. So you're going to need. I've used the Moroccan tile deep border creator die set. Now I felt that that one was just brilliant for doing um, paper piecing. But if you've got any of the others, then you'll be able to use that. From the Wildflower Collection, we've used the 12 by 12 paper pad and the A4 linen card. But I think those are going to work equally as well with the Summer Meadow. So if you've got Summer Meadow, you could swap those out really well. Now, I've used a 12 by 12 mixed card stock in the glittering gold because we're going to make our own sequins. There you go. So the next bit is... Fr oh, and I've also got the Frosty and Bright sequin pack. I've used a Jewel of Love die. If you haven't got a sequin die, then just use some pre-made ones. I'm using the Just For You Mini Expressions die set and some black gems. So the other little bit you're going to need is your A5 heavyweight acetate, multi-purpose card in A3, black card. Now, I've used the hold and release release sheets because I love these if you haven't got them you can do it without but it might just take a little bit longer because obviously all your pieces will go um, everywhere so the other final bit you need is your big score scoreboard your die cutting machine your tacky glue your all-purpose glue pokey tool tweezers dotty tape pen and foam pads and tape and some scissors plus small puppy is optional yes um, so cute, so cute. Can I just say as well, very quickly, um, we've been showing our um, picks from the um, savings on the website, Spring Savings. Corin's pick sold out. Has it? Gone. Gone. Oh, wow. If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for everybody else. Oh, perfect. So, uh, well, the, not, the, not, it, not that it was a competition, so you could get the best pick, but Corin's obviously won. Uh, as always, we're live and interactive, so if you're crafting along uh, and you've got a question, you need something repeated, let us know in the comments, and we've got Radical Rachel who will forward those on to me so then we can um, get that sorted. Um, but just let us know if you're uh, in and watching, like Sarah says, hello, hello, again, everyone, hoping you're all having a wonderful day, sending love and hugs from Melbourne, Australia. Uh, Carletta is in saying good morning, happy Mother's Day everyone, happy Mother's Day. Angela Reid is still laughing about the play your cards right game yesterday. Uh, Betty's in from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Uh, Donna Yam's in saying happy Mother's Day from Florida. Debbie Blanchard is in from North Carolina. Uh, Sarah Brown says, Ben, news in from Melbourne, Australia. I have done some shopping. Wink, wink. Have you? What? I can't imagine what you might have been shopping for. Is it? Is it? Is it moon? Moon? Is it? Hey? What? Has it got the word library in it and template in a different order? Corin! <laughs> Corin! There's too much information. Too much. Don't don't give it away. It's on the on the website. Um, and lots of love coming in for um, puppy. Sarah says, OMG, what a cute you love, love, love that puppy, little Ruby. Um, super excited. I love doing craft alongs. I love meeting you guys, especially when you bring furry friends along for the ride as well. As always, Tracy, you're in the VIP seat. So if you have any questions, any uh, problems, anything repeated, give us a wave and we will um, get your question answered so that we can do this in style. I think though, we are ready to go. Are you ready, Corin? I am. Let's do this thing, here okay. we go. Right, okay, so when I do this, I always make myself my instructions. So what I thought I'd do is I would, within my instructions, I have taken out the main cutting information. So I'm gonna pop that there. Our, our um, Charlotte will just zoom in on that so that you can take a screenshot. Nice. And those are the main ones. I'm not, we're not necessarily gonna do them all at the beginning, but I just thought if I, um, isolated those out so that people can see them those are your main nice and easy ones today halves and three quarters and quarters we've not got any silly five eighths and seven eighths that I normally have and four sixteenths I, yeah I normally have four sixteenths is a quarter I know that's an easy one <laughs> okay you wound me in on that one okay so you've got that right so first thing to do right now the card base, I've put it up here. So this card base, I'll show it on the back, is from one piece of A3. If you don't have A3, then you could do it in A4 because basically you could get that bit out of A4 and then put that piece on as well. So you could do it separately if you wanted to. Now, I need that to be eight inches um, wide, but I can't put this into my guillotine because it's too long. Can you see? There you go, you can see. It won't go in my guillotine, no. look. 
So what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of our scoring first. So using those measurements, what we're going to do is I'm going to get my big score, definitely easier with a big score, and I'm going to score along the longest length. So that's my shortest one down there. I go along my longest one. So I'm going to score all the way down at two and a half inches. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that's going to be the first bit. Score down there. Then I need a one inch bit, so that means at three and a half, because two and a half plus my further one inch. There we go, go down there. Then I'm going to score at ten and a half, because this I need I need a seven inch piece. So if we're at three and a half, add on seven gets us to ten and a half. And then I'm off the end of my scoreboard. So this is the thing, when you're doing these larger projects, you, you know, it's harder in your guillotine and it's harder in your scoreboard, but we're we can get there there's always a way and then I'm just going to fold these so when I fold them I always make sure that it's really square at that point so fold that one don't worry about what direction because we can put the folds in the right direction later all we're doing is getting it scored and then we're going to fold that one round and score to there there we go right so what I'm going to do is I've got it scored the first ones. I'm then going to actually I'm going to fold it that way. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pop it back into my scoreboard. Now, if you're doing it on the lid side, these are accurate measurements. You know, at the base, this little bit's wider. This bit's accurate. So we can come back to using the edge and know that we're back to a proper one inch marking. So all I'm going to do, put that up nice and tight to there. And then I want to score again at one inch. Mm -hmm. There we go. So one inch there. And then score at um, do, 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 score at one inch. And then I want to score at no, I don't I want to score at three and a half. Okay. There we go. I just didn't notice. So three and a half there. There we go. So three and a half. And then what I can do is put that to one side don't need that for a minute don't think we need this scoreboard again so we can fold that over and then we can score that one uh -huh. right so you can see I've got if I, I'm going to trim off to here and what we've got here is we've got a two, two and a half inches there one inch and seven inch yeah so if I let's, let's trim this one off there we go so we can trim that one there so that gives me a nice place I know to, to score to, to mark that off so we can trim that one off on that last score line and then what I can do is fold one of them over and it will now fit in my guillotine can you see how it wouldn't fit before so I'm going to cut that to eight inches so I just need to put my my arm down there we go so take that up to the eight inch mark to there and we now have a piece of cardstock, eight inches by fourteen inches. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, fourteen inches. So that's nice and easy to do. So you know, at times you think to yourself, I can't cut. Th you know, there's certain measurements you can't cut in your guillotine, but we always have a way. So I'm just going to fold that that way, and that way, and that way, and that way, and that is now my card base. That's brilliant. We always have a way. There we are. So we can do that. You can see. Can you see? That's going to be my card shape. What's the name of that shape again? I just called it a oh. fold back card. Half, half, half a diorama. A diorama half, yes. Is saying. There we go. I don't mm. know. I don't know if there is a proper name for it, and I don't know if it's a if it's a recognised card shape. I just thought it was a. It would Current nice. special will go. So with. we're going to put that to one side, and then I'm going to get some black cardstock. And this is just our regular black, and I'm going to cut. And it was on that list that I showed you. Yeah. It was on. It was on. Ooh, where are we? It was on here. So we want two and a quarter by seven and three quarters times two, and six and and three quarters by seven and three quarters times one. So basically, if you think about it, if the card is eight inches high. Mm -hmm. We're going down a quarter, so everything needs to be seven and three quarters. Yeah. But we just need to go to two and two and a quarter on that way and then um, six and three quarters on that way so it's really easy so the easiest way to do it I find is to cut to seven and three quarters on the longest length like that trim that off so that is now 
seven and three quarters high and then we can get hopefully we'll get all of these pieces out i can't remember whether i did or not so i've got six and yes i am six and three quarters on there and then we want two at two and a quarter so two and a quarter is that one and another at two and a quarter okay where are we there's two and a quarter does that all make sense i hope it does so if you now look we've got that piece is going to fit on there tracy is nodding so that is all good in my That's eyes good. that piece is going to fit on there yep if I did, that one on that way and that one on that way so you can see that's where we're going okay so yeah. you now need to just do the next mat layer which is your pattern cardstock as i said i've used the wildflower mm -hmm. but we have so many gorgeous pads at the moment and it's actually the first sheet is the one that i i really like yeah now i said this so many times to people i start with my pattern paper and then i can match everything else up to it yeah so what i did was i decided i wanted to do this and then i found this pattern paper and then obviously i went from there so it's entirely up to you how you do this so i'm going to do this again so if remember this black one was seven and three quarters everything now is going to be seven and a half oh, yeah because we've gone down so pick which end you want do you want this deeper pattern or the top pattern i'm going to use the top pattern just bear in mind as well so corin's using wildflower we've just flashed up details of the summer meadow yes uh we'll, we'll show you that in, in a little bit uh, you get the 12 by 12 6 by 6 um in do you know what? i don't think i had summer meadow when i prepped this otherwise i probably would have used yeah. that one too it's only, i think it's um, new with like, the last couple of weeks isn't it i think yeah mm. now what i want to say is when with it comes to the pattern what i need is i need a piece that's two inches um six and a half and then two inches so what i like to do is i like to cut it so that i've got two inches from there six and a half from there and two inches from there mm -hmm. so that the pattern flows across my project yep so i'm going to get my two inches first i'm going to do them in a mix-up order so i'm going to do my two inches first my next one i'm going to do is my six and a half and then I'm going to do my two inch piece again from there there we go so when this comes back together when we're looking at the card front can you see the pattern still if I move this across yeah. here look can you see the pattern is still flowing mm -hmm. look you can see it joins up it's just a little thing yeah. when you look at the finished project more pleasing it, on the eye it is just that little bit easier on the eye it mm. just flows across the only difficult thing is you've got to try and remember um, where everything came from but that's not a problem so just using my little bits of scrap I'm going to use this little piece here I'm going to cut two tails and when I say tails I mean these little bits here can you see these bits here I'm just going to cut those so I'm trying to remember what I did I did them yes I started with a one inch thick piece so I'm going to cut that to one inch to there mm -hmm. just like that and that cut off yeah that cut off a little piece I'm going to use that and then I'm going to pop these together pop it like that and then I'm just going to cut on the diagonal and to begin with I don't tend to worry too much about the height so that's going to cut like that so I've got two pieces like that. We'll trim them down to the right size in a minute. Have I got any black? I've got black. That piece of black happens to be the perfect size. There is no measurements to this. This is just by eye. By eye. What pieces you've got laid about. Do you know what I mean? Just cut, you know, using all of your little scrap bits. We are going to cut this down at the top end, but we'll do that in a minute. And then I just need to cut one for here. That was a little piece that I had left over. Did I not have? No. Oh, I've got. I'll do it out of. No, I will do it out of that. I can use that other piece. I'm just going to lay that on top. So this is just literally whatever pieces that you have left over. Pop that. I'm just trying to make that sure that's straight. There we go. There we go. I hope that's straight yeah yeah 
and then we're going to pop. I, I always use the, the mat layer if I can a get guide. through as a guide. Mm -hmm. So just to get the angles right. And like I say, we could trim it down at the end when we once, once we put it together and we see how um, everything's looking. Let's do that. There we go. So those are going to go there. So I'm not going to glue those together for now, but I'm going to put those to one side. And then that hopefully got rid of all of my little scrap pieces so I can get rid of those from there. And the only other thing I need to do... Oh, no, I've cut the black. Oh, I need one more piece of black. And we need... Oh, no, we don't need to cut it because the dye is going to cut it. That's right. So I need one more piece of black ready for um, my detail one. But what I'm going to do is... And this is quite important to do. We're going to do this now. And I'm going to glue my mats and layers together because I need it to dry. So if you want to use a, what I call a dry glue, like your tapes or anything like that, then that will work too. So I'm just going to use hopefully a nice small amount of my tacky glue. Come on. Why is that not coming out? <laughs> Come on, glue. Come, Come on. on, glue. Come on. Yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes it just gets a little bit of a... There we go. Skin across the top so we can open it out. There we are. Right, so let's just run that down there. So this is the one where you've just got to make sure the, it's given it time to dry. And I'm going to pop that across there. Just... Like that. Lovely. There we are. Just make sure that is there. And then we can then just leave that to dry while we do the next little bit. So we just give it a couple of minutes. Let's do these other mats. Um, yep. And then we can do this one. And that's going to go onto here just like that perfect now you, you've seen me before if you want to use your brayer to just add just to flatten them yeah I sometimes do that just to make sure the glue's got right to the edges and uh, it's because i can see this one curling why is this one you know normally i would use my multi-purpose glue but i just use my tacky glue for this one hoping that it would dry quicker yeah can put that on there. We can give you a bit of time, have a little break. Yeah, but that's fine. We don't need to do anything like yeah. that. What I'm, what I'm actually just going to do is I'm just going to grab these. If you've got a brayer to hand, as I've said to you in the past, I actually only ever use this brayer for this purpose because it's got lots of glue on. Mm. Just squidge it down. Yeah. Get that glue spread nicely. It really does make a difference. Really does get them nice and flat. And I'm actually going to do it with this one as well. Just really iron out that glue and just get it nice and flat. I can see there's no glue seeping out of that, which is what I want. So we have, I'm going to do one more bit and then we can go for a break. So we've got, this piece is going to go on here. If I can, that, that one's going to go on that side, that's going to go on that side and you can see. So we have created the first bit of our card base. Perfect. So I'll do one more cut and then we can have a break, make sure everybody's caught up. So, yes. as I said, I'm using my Moroccan tile. So what I'm going to do, so it's three pieces in this. It's really clever, is this die set. This one's mine, and it's stuck in the box. Why is it stuck in the box? There we go. Oh, there's two, there's a third. Now, what you've got here is you've got your border die with your blade around the outside and no blade on the inside. Then you've got your internal detail Again, with no blade around the outside, so you can see we're going to use those two together and it's going to cut from there all the way in and it's going to cut it in one piece. Because what you've then got is you've got this border if you wanted to, so you could use them, you could use those two together to cut a frame. You could use those two together to create a topper. Mm -hmm. Or, as we're going to do, you're going to use the outside and the inside together to create detailed one look at that with that these are called deep border look how big that border is all the way around there and that's the combination we're going to use so easiest way to do this is get your magnetic shim because we want this to be nice and even put your die down and just try and center it 
in the middle of one of the grids doesn't matter where but I can see I've got that centered can you see I've got a solid line all the way around there so that's going to help me when I put this one down and I can see that that's now in the same place so I've got the nice even border put your cardstock over the top cutting plate over the top there drop that down now you'll notice when we do that I cut up if I was if I was attaching my car, my die to my card, you know, with a bit of tape, I'd be cutting down. Mm. Makes no difference. Okay. Makes no difference. Because that's a question we get asked all the time. Should I cut up or should I cut down? Yeah. As long as you are cutting into your cutting plate, yes. it's fine. Makes no odds, yeah. And then this now has cut out. Look at that. I'm going to move that out of the way so you can see. Isn't that beautiful? Incredible, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're going to stop there for a few minutes, if that's okay. Yeah. And let everybody catch up. Brilliant. Uh, loads of people loving this um, craft along. Lynn on YouTube says, great idea for measurements uh, to screenshot, making it much easier. I posted your joke uh, book, Lynn, for you uh, today, so hopefully you'll get, they'll get that next week. Uh, Laurel says, great tip on cutting the paper so the pattern flows across the card. So all those little bits of like attention to detail, isn't it? It's going to make your card take it from good to great, I think. Um, and Pamela Ritchie says, uh, this is a beautiful craft along. The colours are dramatic. Uh, one for me, please. Absolutely right. And of course, the great thing is, you know, you can come back to this craft along at any time. Do it in your own time, even if you're not crafting along uh, with us live. Uh, of course, this will stay there for you on YouTube, on Facebook, so you can come back uh, at a time to suit you. Um, now, as we said, Corinne's using the uh, wildflower papers. However, it's kind of like the construction of the project itself. You will have lots of other papers. You might have the wildflower papers and you might want to um, copy it. <laughs> Lily, I've got them all, she says. Um, <laughs> and you just what? Oh, she's just placed a second order for some, some summer meadow as well. So if there's not much stock left, you know who to blame. Uh, but the point is, you've got the construction, the concept of the actual card itself. So choose the papers that you want to work with. This summer meadow pad, though, is absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous, isn't it? I love the fact that it's like a combination of, you know, all the things that we love, the florals, the beautiful colours, the butterflies. You've got all the creatures in there. There's bumblebees in here too. But also, I love the fact, and I'll find one in a minute, that you've got within this set, a uh, beautiful kind of um, like a page like this where you know if yes. I do your bigger like 12 by 12 it's like it's a scrapbook ready page this isn't it or of course if you want to do some snipping you've got the snip ability with these two um, it's just the most joyous pad I think colors for all seasons that's one of my absolute favorite scenes right there and again the more that you kind of delve into this you can see all of the layers all of the depth and dimension within that page and this one here my goodness me if that isn't just one of the happiest um, sheets of um, paper that we've ever done I don't know what is and just to pop that on the side as well you can see that we've got uh, front and back um, the matching colors for you too so if you want something a little bit more muted a little bit more stripped back of course you've got that once again but what you do have um, is the ability to use the front and back on these the and layers uh, to do that to perfection and that's why I think a lot of people like our Lily buy multiples of these so that you've got plenty to be playing with the 6x6 pad as always is a shrunken down version of the 12x12 so it's not just like a, a, a random kind of design it's a shrunken version of the 6x6 and brilliantly this time as well and, I, and for the first time that I can remember and um, we brought you the linen cardstock in 12 by 12, which again, I just think is so, so handy to have, particularly if you like to do your bigger projects, um, it's scrapbook ready, uh, but also the fact that you've got plenty here, uh, plenty to snip into and all of these beautiful colors. I think that's such a great price. When you consider you're getting uh, your 12 by 12 and your six by six, you've got 36 double-sided sheets within each of those. You've got 16 sheets within your linen cardstock too, worth stocking up on. Um, and again, the linen cardstock, the colors are specific to the colors that you've got within the actual um, designs in the paper pad. You know, um, it may well be that you think to yourself, oh, well, I've, I've got kind of um, cardstock that matches up. It won't be absolutely specific. This has been color matched. So you've got everything there that you need to get crafting with 24 pounds 33.60 is the price on that very very busy for that uh, and also very busy for our ornate nesting dies i'll quickly rattle through this it is one of the top sellers on the website today um, it is the uh, set which we launched at the back end of last week uh, if you want to see some demos on this by the way pop 
back to uh, Craft Bowl and indeed join us later on um, Second Chance Sunday. We'll be looking at these in more detail as well. So the ornate nesting dies. You are going to get um, all of these dies, four different sets, two rectangular, two square. They each come with a gorgeous frame, gorgeous um, inner die, and then four of those corner embellishments as well. So the um, designs that you're going to get, you've got the topaz and opal, uh, which are your rectangular designs. You've got the beautiful ruby in there too, alongside the um, quartz, which are your square designs. And by the way, if you just want those on their own, there is a smaller bundle with just the dies, but the showstopper is incredible because for an extra £30 or $40, rather than paying uh, £60 or $80, we give you one of our um, amazing uh, sentiment dies, the image sentiments. That is the uh, Friends of Flowers, I Pick You. Then we're giving you two, we're giving you two uh, stamp and die sets. These are great as well because, you know, if you, I say, if you haven't got too many sentiments, maybe you have. Uh, but these are absolutely perfect for that. You've got fancy sentiments in the just to say and the special friend as well. So all of that included. Plus uh, acetate, heat resistant, luxury cardstock in the red, glitter, mirror, matte mirror. 40 sheets if you're matte black cardstock. 40 sheets of Centura Pearl as well in the trends. Trends. Uh, you're getting eight different colors four uh, five sheets of each do the math ben uh, that is 110 sheets of cardstock in total uh 12 sheets of acetate all of the stamps all of the dies it's 64 pounds or 80 dollars you would expect to pay as i said over 60 pounds over 80 dollars for everything that i've just showed you extra it's 30 pounds or 40 dollars extra in the showstopper plus if you go for the showstopper you get free shipping which means anything else that you add into your basket maybe like some of those spring savings deals uh, you also get free shi uh, shipping off and what yeah, oh yeah, and double points as well. Do you know what? Ah, There's no double you. points tomorrow when we no. launch something that D might be on the website. I, do you know what? You've both just taken the words right out of my mouth. Here's the thing. Without over-egging the pudding and getting myself in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. Uh, there's double points today, right? So double points on this, which we didn't have on launch, and there's also double points on items on the website. Uh, the thing on the website, what was that? The thing on the website, which doesn't officially launch until tomorrow, which everyone is buying, it is there, which has 50 bonus points on it. Uh, it's double points on everything on the website. It is not double points tomorrow. It ends at midnight tonight. I'm just putting that out there, and it doesn't, from what I've heard, it doesn't need a lot of coaxing from me to tell you about it, but I'm just throwing that out there, of course, as well. And also, of course, when you buy this, you're getting free shipping, aren't you? Mm-hmm. For anything else that mm -hmm. you put into your basket as well. What, as producer Lily has just said, what a time to be alive. Um, <laughs> it, it is though, isn't it, eh? What a, what, a time to, what a time to come in and choose to do your first Sunday of the year. Yeah, that's why I came in. Uh, Lynn says, um, Thank you, Ben. Um, I'm looking forward to getting the joke book. I'm going to entertain my online community in my broadcasts. You will have to make a guest appearance. Sign me up, Lynn. Whenever you want, I'm there. Right, let us get back to the craft along. Right, I think we should. So what we need to do now is, before we glue anything down, we need to create our aperture so that when we pop this piece over the top, we can, we've got that. I did try it with cardstock behind. But you lose it. It's a bit. It, for me, it was too dark. I like the light shining through. So, yeah, what we're going to do. Mm. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to. When we can put this up, we're going to have it over to the right, so that when those tails that I cut, that were here, yeah, will then hang down on the left hand side. So all I like to do is what I thought to do is put it so that there is roughly the same border top side and bottom that's where we're going to have it and this is where having that extra die is going to come in really handy because can you see that's going to cut an aperture smaller than my overall die but bigger than my middle aperture so yeah. it's just the perfect size so to do this what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the smallest amount i'm just using my dotty tape pen of tape 
just there. Then I'm going to stick this on to here. And the reason we haven't stuck it down um, fully is I want to be able to lift it and I want to be able to sandwich my acetate underneath my first layer. So I'm going to put that on. I'm going to just use that by eye to put that just here. So I'm still going with, if my theory is if I ha keep the same border, top and bottom, I'll have the same border at the side. Mm. I put my tape on my hand so that it, it did. And I'm making sure all my tape is on the inside because this effectively is going to be a waste. So can you see all my tape is on the inside of that yeah. die? I've not got any on the outside. Good tip. And then that's going to fit on there. Yep, that's covering absolutely yeah. perfect. So I'm going to go with my bigger plates and I'm going to cut into there just like that. Don't worry that it hangs over the top. Let me turn it that way around so you can see. It's going to hang bigger on the top and on, on the ends really isn't going to be a problem. So I'm going to sandwich those together. And then all I'm going to do, do you know what, I haven't checked whether this machine actually mines. There's me going, oh, it's fine. Yes, it is, it is. I didn't think it would be a problem. But as you know, it was the first time I'd used it this morning. Yeah. Um, I couldn't see it being a problem having that flowing through, hanging out the end of the plates. And then we can open that. And when we do that, there we go. So that's now done there. And you can see where I put my um, tape is inside here. So it's just there. So you can separate them, but oh. this is now just lifted off from there. Just very quickly, Ooh. sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, uh, the ornate uh, nesting dies, the showstopper. Don't scream and shout, but that's now sold out i did tell you it's a busy day i'm going to um pop that over there because it's done it's gone well done if you've got it um wow can't believe that can't believe okay. that okay so what we need now is normally i do it with one piece of acetate now my acetate i'm using from my a5 heavyweight acetate unfortunately isn't quite wide enough to be able to cut it out of that way so i'm going to have to cut it out of that way okay um not quite as economical but unfortunately just because of the size that's the way it's going to have to go so what we're going to do is we're going to cut our acetate i've got two pieces here you need two pieces and i'm going to cut it to six and a half by five and a half inches so let's do six and a half i've got the two together it should cut my guillotine should cut them perfectly six and a half by five and a half there we go put those two down there we go so there's my two pieces of acetate they've still got my protective film on so let's just pull my protective film off there oh yeah let's forget about that on the acetate i can see it i can see it just looks a little bit misty yeah straight i always don't know i've got i've got used to it now and i can always see when it's still on there there we go. But again, just leaving it till the end it just makes sense to do. So then all I need to do now is take one piece of this and attach it. Oh, that was a funny noise. Attach it over there so that then when we put this one back over, you see we've sealed it in. So it's up to you where, how you, you um, stick this down. But I'm just going to go, I'm going to get put some red liner on. But your tacky glue would work equally as well. Yeah. Um, I was on yesterday with Michelle and she was... Um, attaching acetate with tacky glue okay. and it was absolutely fine um at this point we're not making a shaker so you don't have to worry about you know sealing it in or anything yeah so just pop some tape on there just doing it up to the edge so that i know it won't be seen when we do but actually we've got so much detail on the front that if it did it probably wouldn't matter and I guess it doesn't really matter what thickness of red liner tape either, as long no. as long as can you see I probably my thinnest one is probably this middle sized one is about as big as I want here otherwise it would be there but look you can see on this one it's to the sides there's yeah. plenty of space so just give that a little bit of a burnish just to make sure it's stuck and then I can lift that off oh hang on we oh. got away from the okay. VIP seats away from the VIP seats uh, let's just get Tracy on. So I think she's got, will be a question for me. I hope it's not anyway. Uh, what's your question, Tracy? I think I've made a booboo. Did a boo -boo. you mean to have this piece or this piece? Both. 
both. Or both? Both. Okay. Thank so, you. Yeah. So if you lay your pattern piece over your white piece now, you can see where to put your aperture. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Brilliant. Good stuff. Right, yeah, so when I did it, I, that's why I put a little piece of tape on so that it cut through all three layers at once. So there we go. But yeah, you can, you can just do it in two stages if you would rather. So I'm putting that on, make, remembering that my mat layers are slightly smaller, so making sure it's inside there. And then you can see now, look, we've got a nice piece of ap aperture there. And then I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to pop this on to here so this one's going on there there we go just like that and that's going to go on here lovely just there so now that acetate is nicely sealed in we know that's not going anywhere at mm. all so the next thing I want to do is grab my detail one uh -huh. and I'm going to do the, I'm going to get my dotty tape pen. If you haven't got a dotty tape pen, just do it with a small amount of your tacky glue. But we're going to paper piece and I always find paper piecing does benefit from having these bits stuck down. Otherwise it slides underneath. So if you can, mm. if you can stick it down, please do either Oh, am I at the silver? I'm nearly at the end of this one. So if you can stick it down, where am I? What's it stuck on? No, it's got to the end. Luckily, I asked Jake for a spare one before we started. Oops, throwing that away. There we go. There we go. There we are. There we go. So just go in round there. There we go. Actually, I'll go with my solid one and just pop that on there there we go just around there so no top no bottom to this if you don't want it's it's entirely up to <laughs> you <laughs> Lily's just saying no top oh dear it's not <laughs> that warm I mean it's warm but not that I warm know. there we go so I can pop that over there and that now I'm oops, caught that I'm going to give that a really good burnish because I want this to stick to my acetate yeah there we go there we go and you can see look look at that so neat can you see the little dots but that is so neat on there now if you wanted to you could should we do it just because we can let's pop these on so you can see I've still got the same side my patterns flowing through so we can pop those we've now finished um, all of our die cutting so those ones just go onto here just look and make sure you line up everything nice and square because it does make such a difference you've gone to the effort of making sure your paper matches up and flows mm -hmm. so let's make sure we get all our edges now if you wanted to you could you could put another piece down here on that bit but I've got mine bending backwards so I thought I didn't need to there we go we can pop that one and also it's from a 12 by 12 pad so it, I couldn't have got the pattern to flow in the same way so I just thought we wouldn't there we go so we got this one in here yeah there we go and can you see look everything has just lined up beautifully so there we go we've got the basis wow. of our card rattling Looking along good. aren't we I know really doesn't take long. Okay. Um, right. Listen, we'll have a little. Are you happy for us to have a little break? Of course now? I am. Excellent. Um, I just want to show you a uh, another deal which you might want to grab. By the way, if you see a deal that you love today, please make sure you grab it because we showed you Corinne's top tip from the spring savings at the top of the show. That sold out. Then we were waxing lyrical about those ornate nesting dice, thinking we had loads of stock. They've sold out. Uh, so if you, it is so busy today. I, I, I've got to tell you, when I thought I was coming in today on Mother's Day across the world, I was thinking it's going to be an e easy day. It's going to be quiet. There's not going to be much going on. There might be a few people shopping, but probably not many. It's so busy. It's so busy for a Sunday. Uh, listen, I'll tell you the reasons why. Great deals, great products, um, great team, top team. I mean, it is a great 
Great team today. Great team in the gallery as well. Uh, Lily, Lily and Charlotte. Uh, uh, great, great team uh, backstage as well. Jake. Uh, I mean, great. He's not really, no, but he's part of the overall team. Yes. So, th so that's all great. What else is great about today? Double points across the weekend. That's great. Because you're not going to get double points tomorrow. You're not. No. 70% savings. 70, that's great. That's great. Up to 70% off. That is, that is great. What, is that, what else is great, Charlotte? Ch Chihuahuas, mini pu puppies, they're great. Our guest on the, uh, the, the, the craft along today. She's great. Everything's great. <laughs> Got my, my summer shirt on. I mean, that's middle of the road, but everything else. Uh, what do you mean we've had some funny comments about my shirt? Oh, it shows off my <laughs> trim figure beautifully. Thanks very much. I did say, did I not, this morning that you were looking very trim? Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. It's not the shirt, it's the fact that I have now got a trim figure. Thank you, Lily. <laughs> so that's the, oh, it's just the shirt, it's just the shirt. I ha it's, <laughs> it's an illusion, it is an illusion. And I tell you what, if I'm looking trim now, it's great because they say, don't they, TV, cameras. Ten pounds. Cameras add 10 pounds. Cameras add 10 pounds. That's why I stopped eating cameras. Uh, <laughs> right, Do you, what? They are quite hard to chew, aren't they? <laughs> um, bad for your teeth. Right, the duet ink pads showstopper is still available as far as we know. It probably won't be in five minutes. But, but We're going to uh, do a demo with it in our last show tonight. Well, you Second hope. Chance. You hope. What if it sells out? If it sells out, we'll, yeah. No. we might. Well, not if, be you, doing if you are interested, yeah. grab it now and I'll show you a demo later. We might not be doing Second Chance Sunday. I'm just putting that out there because there might not be nothing left the way no. it's going. There'll be no second chances or anything, will there? It looks like there's not going to be any first chances <laughs> of certain things, too. <laughs> oh, no. What are you uh, and Craig going to do tomorrow? I have no idea. I'll he's going to He's going to be really angry. He's going to be really angry because it's his pet project, po um, products. Yeah, and the thing is, he's not even going to be watching now, is he? Because chances are he's driving, he's driving back home. from Scotland, so he will have no clue. Who's going to message him? Bagsy, not, bags not me. Johnny will have to talk to him. Has anyone, has anyone tipped off producer Johnny as well about tomorrow? I, uh, we've got that big launch tomorrow. Um, I'm telling you, it, we, <laughs> you might want to think about getting it today. It's live on the website, and I'm not... That, this is serious face. <laughs> Is that the face you do with the kids? <laughs> uh, before I just take you through this, Tracy has got a question for oh, you, Corrie. Yeah. She's waving okay. from the VIP seat, so let's um, okay. find out. What can we do for you, What's Tracy? What's your question, Tracy? Can I ask where you put uh, the second piece of acetate and... Uh, yeah, this so you don't... Uh, we haven't stuck the second piece on yet. Okay. We haven't said... So you've only stuck one piece on, and then you're going to stick that black panel onto the front, making sure that you've stuck it down really well onto the acetate on there. So, yeah, so that's where we're getting to. So there's only, awesome. there's only one piece of acetate on, and it's sandwiched between your white card and your pattern paper. We've then yes. put the black on top, sticking it down well to the pattern card and also to the acetate. OK, thank you very much. That's my pleasure. Can I just also say something which is great today, in fact, not just great, but radical, Rachel on yes. the socials. I forgot to mention Rachel. Um, <laughs> no, she did not remind me, Charlotte. She did not. She did not remind me. <laughs> she did a <clears throat> on the my little yeah. I'm in trouble. Anyway, the duet ink pads, all 12 of these are still available. Whether you go for the 12-piece collection strapped at the bottom of your screen or whether you go for the showstopper, these are incredible. And the now go-to ink pad, um, you know, for all of your distressing, for creating your ombres, for doing your blending, um, for uh, you know, doing your water techniques, for creating unbelievable effects. And for, for, as I said earlier on, for me, what I absolutely loved is the fact that you can create layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. All of these different... Uh, colors you're going to be receiving 12 colors that's how the ink pads come to you once again uh, these uh, like that teardrop effect so they're easier to take to your cardstock great if you just want to add sort of like little um, details with the um, sort of teardrop end and of course as we mentioned earlier uh, nice that these ones again have that color coding on the side so when you store these you know in that is your a really, tray that's such a minor thing but mm. it's so so helpful I've yeah. got mine in my shelves and my shelves are at eye level yeah and I can't see the see tops which is of the pads. Weird. So you have to take them all I, out. Yeah. But mm. that is so, so... You, it's such a little detail, but makes such a difference. Yeah. Um, 
That's why I pointed it out. That's why I'm here on a Sunday, because I'm hashtag profesh. Um, so you get all 12. <laughs> I'm not working with you. Do you? I do. Well, I... Lily! <gasps> Lily's, Lily's gone, do you do really? You know she's so quiet, and she's in that gallery. So and full of sass. She's full of sass. This, I don't know what she had for lunch. <laughs> She had a bowl of sass for her lunch, didn't she? Oh, she had chickpeas, apparently. Oh, look out, Charlotte. Good luck, look Charlotte. Look out. <laughs> Poor dear. Poor dear. Uh, right. <laughs> uh, you're going to get... And this is taking me so long. They said, like, it was like two minutes, <laughs> 20 minutes later. Easy grip, uh, Matt. That's coming to you in this. Uh, <laughs> is brilliant. I'm loving the sashes. Like, everyone is falling asleep. Hurry up. Uh, you're also going to get a lovely collection of stamps in here as well. And on top of that, of course, you already know... Uh, well, you might not know because you've never seen it before, some of you. Uh, you've got all of these stencils in here too. So it's actually three different sets, of, four different sets of stencils, three of each, 12 stencils, £105.60 or $144 for all of that. Uh, and of course, double points today as well. If you just want to go for the ink pads on their own, bottom of the screen here, double points on this as well. Options for everybody. And indeed, if you just decide you want to try out those ink pads, you know, uh, maybe you're not sold on them yet, that's fine. Buy one or two or three, make your own mini bundle. You can, you can buy them individually too. Right, I think, uh, <laughs> I think we are all good. A uh, few quick comments. Uh, Rachel says, thank you, welcome. Uh, Rhonda says, my Hawaiian shirt, Friday Hubby has decided that this month is Hawaiian shirt month. He will wear a Hawaiian shirt every single day this month. Need pictures, please. He's got a um, hundred, I think. A hundred, yeah. Um, <laughs> Rachel says, Charlotte's rubbing off on Lily. They'll be eye rolling in unison. <laughs> Uh, and Lillian says, chickpeas, they're nothing compared to eggs. I'm not so much, I'm not so much eggy at the moment, Lillian. I've come off the eggs just for a little bit, but chickpeas, whoa, I am not going in there in between shows. Right, back to the craft along. Right, OK. Now, because I have got some left in my stash, I am going to use a sheet of my hold and release sheet. So, yep. anybody hasn't seen these, what they are is a sheet of low tack adhesive yeah and what and and what I'd call a very very thin mount board almost or just a thick card so what I do is I peel this layer off I'm going to pop the some cards so this was just a scrap of the same card you know I had a piece left over when I was trim um, for my green card so I cut a piece off and I'm going to stick this die over the top so what's going to happen is we're going to adjust the plates and I'll show you how in just one minute it's going to cut through the green card and into my hold and release sheet because it's low tack what's going to happen is all of the bits are going to stay stuck to that sheet okay so you know when I did the black and I peeled off the die all the bits went everywhere yeah, yeah. which is fine but I want to now do some paper pieces, so I want them in one place. If you haven't got a hold and release sheet, what you can do is maybe put um, on the back of your cardstock like that, get some masking tape. Now, I've only got washi tape here, but if you put some masking tape across the back like that, yeah. it will possibly hold them in place. Or what you have to do is have them on your plate and then just leave them there and, what, let's, and then you can work straight from your plate. Okay. Does that make sense to mm -hmm. you? So there are alternatives. If you've got the hold and release sheet, then use them. So you're cutting through the card into the hold and release sheet. Now, we all know the pressure in our Gemini is impressive. So I, if I use my normal plate, it'll cut through the green card and it'll cut through the hold and release sheet, which is defying the point. So what I've done is I've taken out my magnetic shim, put that away. So I'm going to put clear plastic plate and cutting plate on the top. You will know your machine. I don't know this machine yet. Oh. If that was too much, then I might, you would probably swap your, uh, put your magnetic shim back in and take your plastic shim out. Hopefully this is going to be absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that over. Oh yes. Now, can you see there are marks? It's definitely cut into it, but it's not cut through. So I'm going to lift this very carefully. And can you see the difference this time? Oh, uh, yeah. It's, everything's cut because look, watch this. And this is quite a useful way to do it. Brilliant. So I can peel this off. But if you peel this carefully, 
there we are we've got another project ready look at that there we go can you see that now I don't need that for this project but there we go I've got another project nearly ready and there are all my pieces kept ready so I'm going to do the same in the red mm -hmm. or whatever colors you want I'm using the red and the green because I think they work brilliantly with um, my piece so these are so I should have said sorry I think I jumped a bit there these are just two sheets and the reason mine were already cut down was because I did my practice one these are just two sheets from my A4 linen cardstock that matches my wildflower but you could be using anything so it's just I've just picked out I've just looked at here and I've gone I've got a lot of lovely green and the way I've got this is I can see quite a lot of the red yeah. you might want to pick out the purple you might want to pick out the um, a goldy yellow or whatever color you've got you know just pick two colors from your project and cut this twice so we're going through there I can put some of these bits away now, can't I? Can. Let's get a little bit more organised. That's it. As my stepdad used to say to me on a daily basis when they were doing some building at our house, tidy site is a safe site. That's it. But oh. tidy as you go, cook as you go as well. Like whenever I'm yeah. cooking, I always like clear up as I go in. Because then yeah. when you're done, you're done, aren't you? You're done, yeah. It's nicer, isn't it? When you come back oh, and you finish yeah. your tea yeah. and you've got like the saucepan from the vegetables and the casserole dish and that's it. Yeah. Makes all such done. a difference, doesn't it? All done it? and dusted. So I'm going to do the same. Now, you don't have to peel this bit off. You can work from it as a whole, but I just find it easier because I can see the bits I want. So I'm just peeling that off. And again, I'm doing it carefully. I could rip this off, but I'm doing it carefully because now what I could do is I could do another project with a... I'll go that way, I think, with oh, the yes. red with a lovely drop shadow behind. Yeah. There you Little go. Tufa. So that could, that could be another project. So keep these. All I would do is pop them into the wallet with yep. everything else. I'm going to die short here. Um, we'll find that in a minute. And then um, everything is ready to go. So we have got these two here. And we've got this piece here. Now, this is going to take... This is probably the, the longest piece of the project. Yep. Now, what you just need to do is make sure you've got these the same way up. And there is a slight difference... That one, yeah, definitely. That one goes that way Oh, up. is there? Is not... Yeah, they're not totally symmetrical. Because, oh. look, can I show you? If you look at that, I've got these turned the other way up. Can you see, look, at that corner, that oh, one yes. there is different to that one. And, and it's slightly bigger in the middle as well. At the top. Yeah. yeah. So if I turn that there, they are now the same way, which yeah. matches here. Got you. So just make sure you've... Because this is where your hold and release sheets come in. I... I have asked, have I not, Lily? I asked Lily the other day, are we going to get them back in? Oh, yeah, At the moment, we don't know. But I really hope... I'm going to, I'm going to put some pressure on and oh. see, see if we can get some back in. OK. I, I know, good luck with that, says Lily, but never mind, we're going to try. OK, now, this is where, this is where you can now make this your own project. So look at this. We've got two colours. You could cut this three colours, however. Now, start looking at this and start to find a pattern. I'm going to bring in mine. What I've done here, look, is I've done the corners in green. I've done, I've picked out those two in green and then there, and then I've gone red in the centre and red in the centre of those. That's brilliant. But can you see there's another pattern here I could be using? Yeah. I could be using, this. I could go green and then red round here and ignore that. I could go green and red round here and ignore... It's up to you. Mm. You've got this piece here. I could be, then do another layer around. It's entirely up to you. Please now really go and make this however you Your want own. it. Your yeah. own, yeah. Yeah, how you want it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll show you. I'll start on this, and then I think we'll have a break, and we'll just keep... Yeah, because you're only paper-piecing, aren't I'm you? I'm paper-piecing. So. I'll do a few bits, and then I will let Lily take us where she needs us to go, and then we'll just keep bobbing back and forwards. So what I'm going to do glue applicator is brilliant for this i'm going to put a little bit of glue in one two three uh -huh. so then i can bring this here and i can see i want this one i want that one and i uh -huh. want that one and then i can pick these up with my tweezers and i can pop them in because i haven't had to had to work out which pieces go where because i've got them on the sheet 
I always lift them slightly with my t with my pokey tool and then pick them up with my... T I can't do it without tweezers. No. We were talking... You see, Lily says she oh, never Lily, uses you, tweezers. My, you, I've obviously got bigger fingers than you, Lily. You can get... Can't you get the little sticky pens as well that... Yes. That would, you'd, it'd be hard to pick it up off there. Oh, yeah, because it's already sticky. Yeah, it's already mm. sticky. Just to show you, this glue doesn't transfer. No. So that piece won't become... This hold and release sheet isn't about gluing these pieces down. It won't transfer the glue. All that glue is there. Now, people ask me, can I use these again? That started to go through. Mm. They have been designed to be a single use. If you can get a second use out of them, that's up to you. But they have been designed for a single use. So I'm going to come on this corner one little bit. Only put as much glue as you can stick down within mm. two minutes or so because tacky glue does dry quite quick. So I just I would rather pick out a few and do one. To they do make the job a lot easier, don't they, these oh, sheets? I yeah. mean, the, the faff otherwise. And then the third one goes just there. I've used tacky glue. If it, over, if it runs, oozes out a bit, I just wipe it off. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll just show you on this one. I'm going to do... I'll just do three on here. OK. I do think th three's a nice number with the glue. It stops the glue from drying so I've taken three from there and I've kept my sheet the same way up so I know that if there isn't if there is an element of it not being symmetrical I know I'm okay because yeah. I am literally picking up the same Ooh, just to up. say as well Hannah and I think this potentially is just because you've you, you've only seen us using acetate but she says when paper piecing why do people never put card behind it's always acetate I think it, that might just be the fact that you've just seen people using yeah you, you can I've use done card. paper piecing onto card yeah. yeah 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 okay so I'm just going to carry on with my pattern I'm going to just bring this in so that people can see if you want to do the same pattern as me let me just bring that up there I've done green in the corners the flower at the top and the outside of that one and then red on there and then there I think I've done very sort of similar to on the packet mm. But if you want to do a different one, then go for it. But that's the pattern I'm going to do. And I'm going to just bob in and do that now while we do that. Are we going to take a short break in just a second? Um, we'll cross back to Wakefield as well in a little while and speak to, to Tracy. But I do want to remind you of the Weekend Wanderer. Uh, this is available just up until um, midnight. Or is it 10.59 tomorrow morning? Yes. Yes, uh, and then it disappears. It's proving very popular. I'll tell you for why, because it's an incredible bundle. I'll just come around this side and show you again. Um, the way I worked this out this morning uh, is that you are going to get the colour blend pencils in the primaries, artist quality, top notch, uh, sell day in, day out. You get those uh, within the bundle alongside the um, Make-A-Wish stamp and die set. That's the, the, the dies that allow you to create that waterfall effect. Um, that and that is worth more than the platinum price. It's pretty much the price that the, the 45 pound, 45 dollar mark, which means everything else then we're gonna give you in the weekend wonder for free. So you get the opaque pigment ink pad in the Bordeaux. We give you a bottle of our uh, glossy highlights, two sets of our tricolor aqua pens as well. So you get the floral meadow, and then you also get the great outdoors as well. And whilst that's three pens within each pack, it's actually nine colors you're gonna get, uh, which is 18 colors across the board. And then we also give you our, you're the top dog, Follow your dreams, sparkle with fairy dust, and enjoy the little things in our um, character. Um, um, what? Tags, thank you. Character tags, front and back tags. It's always the big words I forget. Um, so you should be paying 105.90 or 139.82. Look at the saving, look at the platinum price, and it's double points on that as well. Um, it must end today though. So make sure if you look at it, I think it's quite a like deal. Uh, jump in and grab it today at 36 pounds or 36 dollars. And also whilst you're doing that, spring savings deals on the website are flying. Things have sold out as you've seen in this show already. And also the other thing which doesn't actually launch until tomorrow, it is absolutely flying. And when I see messages from Mary Beth Doyle saying, I've placed my order for that thing uh, because I seem to be unable to order only one item, I did a couple of others to the list to justify the postage. That's my excuse anyway. You guys are shopping till you're dropping on that thing which doesn't launch till tomorrow. And also, the Summer Meadows. We're not going to have a Second Chance Sunday. I'm telling you, Second Chance Sunday, I don't know what we're going to do. The uh, Summer Meadows, 10 of these left now. 10 of these left, then they are gone. 
they're out of here, they've disappeared, that is it, not coming back. You've got to grab those as well. If they're in your basket, get them checked out. Uh, we're going to give you opportunity to do that right now. And when we come back, we'll continue on uh, with the Craft Along project. What a day, super busy. We'll see you in about three or four minutes. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. So, join our family of craft experts with live tutorials and demonstrations every day. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products here on Crafters TV. Get creative and craft along with our amazing deals. Your next craft project is only a click away. Check live seven days a week or watch on catch up at crafterscompanion.com Facebook or our YouTube channel. You can chat to us, craft along and meet new friends in our online crafting community. You entertain us, you give us a community to talk, you know, in the chat. That wouldn't happen without you guys. It's like um, Crafters Companion is magical. There's magic here. You all have time with each other. <laughs> You're not free to boot camp. Get off. <laughs> There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. So, stop what you're doing and enjoy the fun here on Crafters TV. Here at Crafters TV, it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves. Leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comfort of your own living room. Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range, or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um really skilled at what they do and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Welcome back, everybody. I, d I just need to tell you, we've had more people uh, checking out the Summer Meadow during that break. Uh, we are down to single figures of the Summer Meadow pads. So you've got to be quick uh, if you want to jump in and grab this. I tell you what, whatever you want today, be quick to grab it. And um, like we said, uh, the, the, that item on the website, um, you, uh, Hannah's just said, can you imagine if it sold out today? I don't need, you don't need to imagine. I think there is a think it's going to happen there's a real risk of that happening i'm not even um joking you on that front um lily is crunching the numbers and it is not looking good not really <coughs> a show's worth left is there no 
Well, yeah. what I would say, if it gets to wake up call tomorrow, it ain't gonna it ain't gonna be here on launch day, uh, the official launch day tomorrow. So uh, there there is a fair warning. I fancy just quickly popping back over to uh, to see Tracy uh, to see how she is getting on. How's it going, Tracy? Is it is it going well? It's going very well, thank you. Excellent. Um, I tell you what, Corin, I've hated paper piecing because I don't have those uh, special sheets. But that masking tape yeah. is is amazing. So this is mine so far. Oh, oh you're using oh, oh, that. Oh, incredible! You've got a different one. I'm yeah. loving that. Thank you. There you go. That is really, really incredible. So you, you you weren't a fan of paper piecing, but you found a way around it, right? I found a way around it, yes. Excellent Brilliant. stuff. Well, it looks like you're having a great time and uh, you've, you've not been interrupted by anything of the four-legged variety either. No, oh, she's just sleeping next to me. But she, she's very attached to me. Yeah. Um, very attached to me. And wherever I go, she follows. So she's sleeping by my feet at the minute. Oh, that's lovely. That's so, super cute. And as they say, let sleeping dogs lie. Um, let us move on with the next part of the uh, craft vlog. I feel like we're doing this at a good pace, Corinne, and um, we've still yes. got plenty of time. We are, yeah. I'm just I'm plodding on. I've done my reds in there. I've done my greens in the two cor four corners even. Mm. I've done my greens just here, and then I'm just carrying on just here. Yeah, we are actually. We might actually have fi <laughs> finished this a bit. Early. It's 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 a it's a balancing act, isn't it? It's a real balancing act. I wanted to make sure that it was something that we could all finish because you yeah. know I think I did a did a craft along last weekend and we didn't get to put the sentiment on. What was I doing? I've forgotten what I was doing. I think that was something boxy. Um, so it's a it's a it's a um, it's all about trying to find something that will. We'll take the right amount of time. Can yeah. You do, oops, where did that just go? I just talked Difficult that one. to judge. It is. Um, uh, just, just, just to it. help you take a bit more time, I'll ask you a question. Yep. Andrea says, uh, hello, I'm loving the paper piecing demo and I would love to give it a try. Um, she says, could you use stick and spray on the back of card onto mount board, then pass it through the Gemini instead to make paper piecing easy? I would be tempted instead of yeah mount board wood. I'd try and find, if you want to use mount board, I'd use your your, your thinnest mount board you could find. Mm. Or I would possibly do two pieces of craft card glued together, so you've got something probably about the same sort of thick, and then spray that with your repositionable. That would work too, I think. Yes. Yeah. I would do that. Make sure you give your repositionable like 30 seconds or so to, yeah. to go tacky before you put it on. Um, but I think that would work, but I would definitely give it two pieces of craft card, something like, something quite coarse and grainy like your craft card or something like that, rather than a nice, I wouldn't use a linen card that's easy to die cut because it could go into it. You want something that's going to give a little bit of a resist. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But there's ways and means, isn't yeah. there, I think, is, is the yeah. thing to say. I've, I, I've done it um, a couple of times, paper piecing. I think I've, I've said to you in the past, because I don't think it's still available now, but we had a craft kit, a paper piecing craft kit, which I think sold out. And I used that to make um, Laura's birthday card last year. Yeah, and it was re I really enjoyed it. She did like it. I, I, no word of a lie, um, she, she tends to keep the cards that I uh, make for her. I did a, one for her birthday, one for her Valentine's, and it's the, I think it's the birthday one. She's still got um, tucked inside her little organiser. Oh, that's that she's nice. got. Now, I might have been remembering this wrong. I know you did a box card with me. Did you do that paper piece in one with me? Or was it with somebody else? I can't I did remember. A, I did some paper piece in with Jan with the, um, you know, the edgeables with the, 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 the curved sentiment edgeables, I think they're called? Yeah. We did some paper piece in with that. I did the, I did the um, box, the black, black, it was a black box I did with you, didn't I? Yeah. With some gilding wax. Yeah. We've that's uh, that's in my trophy cabinet in my crafty little you know trophy cabinet cabinet i've got at home <laughs> we've done, have we done a couple of craft alongs together i think we have i think we have i think we have mm. yeah you're good at your craft alongs yeah I, I, yeah i've done about seven seven or eight now um i, I, I keep saying this i will do another one soon you nearly did one today, didn't you? You were thinking about it. I should have done this one. I should. Yeah. I keep saying it. Jan did one the other week where she made it like a card that opened up, and then it was like a card within a card within a card. Yeah. And I, should, I, I, I said, oh, I might do that, and then whatever for whatever reason didn't get around to it. I thought I should have done it. Should have done this one today, but then it didn't have time to organise it because you and I were too busy gassing. 
Uh, we were. We were all gassing in between. And eating lunch. Shows. And eating lunch as well. Um, yeah. Stephanie says, do you still need glue with the sticky sheets? That's a good question. So when it comes to these then, so, he, she's, so obviously... If you sprayed, if you yeah. sprayed your um, cardstock with... Um, repositionable glue you've sprayed it onto your craft card you've not sprayed it onto the back of here so I would think it would still um, I would just to be certain there, it, there'd be nothing it would be horrible wouldn't it if if you um, if you stuck it all in and then they came out just through the lack of adhesive so yeah no just I would and look at that you can't see the glue as such on the back it, but it dries clear and we're going to have um, sh a shaker element over there so it'll be brilliant I've just got one more little bit to do you see I just now the other bit if you I looked at this and thought no I'm not going to do it if you really wanted to how about paper piecing all the way around the outside mm. but that's going to take you a lot lot longer and I've not cut it but you know if you wanted to you really could you could you know you could go to town with that mm. there we go so just you know there's so many options and i do like the um design that trace's got i like that one so there yeah we go. um just to let you know as well if you're uh looking around for something to shop the showstopper for the duet ink pads the uh that is on the way out because it's the easy grip mat which apparently is going to sell that bundle out uh, it is not looking good on that. Oh, I'll still be able to demo it, won't I? Because we'll still have the, we'll still have the ink, pads. ink pads. That's okay. I'm just yeah. thinking what I'm going to do in the next show because we, we, yeah, the demos are rapidly. We already lost one from this morning's show. Now yeah. we're losing some from this afternoon. So, yes, it's looking good. <gasps> right. I just want to say I have all of these left over. So I could now make another one and almost flip what I've done. So if you can see, I'm missing the red there, but I've got the green. So I could actually do, where I've done red, I could do green and then use the red in here. So don't throw these away either. As well as having these pieces, you've got, um, you, you know, save them all because if you want to do a project, you could actually put a project together just by cutting this black piece out and you've got everything that you need to do at least one more project. So please keep all those bits and pieces together. That is looking absolutely stunning. It does look pretty, doesn't it? It really, really does. And again, so super achievable. I think, again, with this particular craft along, um, you know, you look at the finished project and you think, oh, there's no way I can do that. But I think He's every breaking step... breaking it down. It is. That's yeah. what it is. It's all of the, the breaking it down, making your card shape, and doing all of your mats and layers. And again, just having the tools to be able to, um, to do that job. But hopefully you're seeing how achievable this is for everyone. Um, do let us know, by the way, if you've already got these dies and you are going to be um, crafting along at a later date. And as always, if you do, make sure you tag us in your makes on, on the socials because we love to see uh, what you've been doing. Uh, Lynn says, my craft along. Uh, Debbie managed just... Do we manage just but I didn't finish till after the broadcast oh okay what a balancing act when you are planning but as always when, whenever you craft as I say um, either send in the pictures or tag us on the socials just want to throw a couple of deals your way which are proving very popular within our craft vault so a 15 pound 15 dollar craft vault that we had um, this morning everything 15 quid everything 15 bucks 12 pounds 12 dollars with your club inspire platinum discount if you're uh, a club inspire uh, platinum member those double-sided plates are flying uh, of course to use in conjunction with your double-sided dies because you need an extra layer of pressure aren't you when you're running those through patented technology and those are the double-sided plates that you need to be able to get the very best out of them and i'm being told uh, just like everything today they are disappearing 20 pounds or 27 dollars is what you can pay tomorrow or pay just 12 pounds or 12 dollars right now uh, and of course you will get your double points across those today too another fantastic deal that we had when it came to the craft vault earlier is the christmas character gift tag selection Again, another really, really popular deal. 30 stamps, six dies, uh, 12 pounds or $12. And again, look at all of these that you're getting. By the way, if you like these, if you like the idea um, of these, you can get some of the everyday characters within our weekend wonder, but these are all Christmas skewed. Well, I say they're all Christmas skewed. You'll see that some of them you'll be able to use through the year, but you've got your, uh, you've got your Nutcracker Man here. So you get Nutcracker Man. Yeah, Nutcracker Man. Uh, well, it could be, it could be a woman. 
It could be a woman. We don't uh, pass judgment here. Well, no, not, you're, let's just call her him the Nutcracker. The, the Nutcracker. So there's your die to be able to create your uh, tag, to be able to create your uh, bookmark. There's your character, front and back stamps. And then there are all of your sentiments as well. So you've got uh, glad tidings, deck the halls, and wishing you all the joys of the season. So there's Nutcracker, glad tidings. Is gingerbread. Uh, person. Every time I show this one, Lily goes, Whoa, like that. Whoa. Do you know what? I'm not bothered about gingerbread. Aren't you? Where are you on gingerbread? Mm, sometimes, if I'm in the mood. Mm. Oh, our Charlotte loves a ginger snap. Ooh, yes. That, yeah, not, they're not good dunkers, are they? Yeah, I'm, ginger, I, I do like a ginger snap. Do you? Like a brandy basket ginger snap type oh, like thing. the thin ones? Yes. Mm. Yeah. No, I can take, take or leave ginger, to be honest with you. Um, but there you go. Have a sweet Christmas. Oh, yes, Lily. A what? Pickled ginger. Oh, not pickled ginger. Do you mean like glacé ginger? Oh, like the sweet, like the sweets. You mean? Oh no, in sushi. Oh no, I don't. Oh, mind. The, yeah, no. The, I don't mind ginger in yes, like uh, sliced ginger, pickled ginger. Oh, oh yeah, quite like that. There's me going on the ginger. Oh, I've never tried nice. that. You see, I don't want. I've never tried sushi. It doesn't do it for me. Oh, it's so nice. No. Yeah, it no. is lovely. I've seen you eat sushi a few times. Yeah, I eat it by the bucket, bucket load. load. I do love it. Anyway, ginger, bread person. Uh, peace and joy, that's the little angel. She is adorable, totes adorbs. Fairy, Christmas sparkle she's called. Uh, there's Craig Elf, called Christmas cheer. He's back tomorrow. He's on his way back from, uh, back from Scotland. Carnoustie. Uh, happy, oh no, have your Sir Elf a merry little Christmas. And then lastly in the set is the little penguin. If you want to see a cute little uh, project with our penguin earlier on, then go back to the Craft Vault show where Corin did a wonderful shaker card with the little penguin. £12, $12, um, and of course, that is an amazing price. Double points on all of that as well. Uh, we, we pop the Weekend Wonder at the bottom of your screen because you can get some of the everyday characters within that collection. Alison Lee's going to be doing this uh, craft along a little bit later on. Uh, one person who is doing the craft along currently with us live um, is the lovely Tracy. How are you getting on? Are you still paper piecing over there, Tracy? Oh, I lost piece, literally. Last piece? My last piece. Oh, here we go. Look at that for timing. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. That looks incredible. Oh, you've used colour your world paper. Yes, I have. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that. Brilliant. Is this, is this your second or third? How many craft alongs have you done, Tracy? My second. OK. And is, which has been your favourite? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Lily said you've got to say this one. Uh, yeah, I think it has because I've got a happy to look after as well. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, it's so lovely to have you on, and I, I love the fact that your sort of uh, crafty furry family is growing. Maybe the next time we do a craft along with you, you'll have another. You'll have another animal. This card is going to South Africa. It's going to be a card for my grand, who's in South Africa. She's eighty. She's eighty odd. Oh, wow. And I'll send them to her for, for her birthday. That would be lovely. So just make sure you push the, if you push the edges in, like push it into the sides and then it'll go into an envelope nicely. So yes, that's how oh. I transported it. Have you, um, have you got lots of family still back in South Africa then, Tracy? Yeah, I've got my dad and my brother and my dad's family and my mum's family. So it's my sister, my mum and my uncle that are here. Ah, well, okay. And uh, how long have you how long have you been in um, in in the UK? I've been here for nineteen years. Wow. Okay. Do you... As a child. Uh -huh. I didn't realise you were in Wakefield. I'm from Wakefield. Yeah, I'm yeah. in Wakefield. So uh, yeah, I've been here nineteen years, and I've had my teens here, so it much feels like home. Yeah. However, I do miss the sunshine. Yes. That is the only letdown, isn't it? U the UK or South Africa. One of my neighbours is um, is from uh, Durban, and the, yeah, the chat the chats that I have with him about the the, the, the climate is <laughs> is quite interesting. He hates the weather over here. <laughs> Do you get to go back very often, or not really? Um, well, I did go back this time last year. In yeah. actual fact, this time last year, I was in a safari park. 
<gasps> wow. Yes. So my dad's a maintenance manager on one of the top safari parks in South Africa. And the, it's like a four-star hotel, like massive, uh, 152 hotel rooms. Wow. And uh, 66 uh, chalets. So nice. it's quite, oh, and 22 uh, hotel villas. Hotel yeah. villas. That sounds oh, big. So it's massive and it's amazing to go there and it's just like a free holiday, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, I suppose it is really, it is. Do they, um, do they tune in and watch you? Do, you? do you tell them when you're going to be on the craft logs? Yeah, I've yeah, told them today and I told them last time. So hopefully they have tuned in and they are listening to me. Yeah. Well, if you if you are Tracy's family, uh, get in touch in the comments. Is it is, is crafting as big in in South Africa? Do you know? Do, do, do a lot of people uh, craft over yeah. there? So, uh, I think we got our crafting from my granddad and my grand really. So my granddad, um, he made coffee tables and bookshelves oh, out wow. of um, timber and that mm. beautiful stuff. And my grand is also very crafty. And I can remember from a very young age crafting with her. And she had a cupboard for the grandchildren and then a cupboard for her that we weren't allowed in. <laughs> I thought she said she had a cupboard full of grandchildren. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it broke up just as you said that. And I thought it said she's got a cupboard full of grandchildren. I was like, wow, they look after their grandchildren differently in South Africa. <laughs> I think there is... 13 grandchildren. Wow. wow. That is a cupboard full of grandchildren. Big cupboard. <laughs> five children. That wow. she had five children. Wow. So wow. I'm part of a very big family. And um, yeah, it's great when we do get together and um, celebrate. I bet it is. I bet. Well, hopefully, some of your family have, uh, are either tuning in live or they'll get to see this uh, get to see this video after. But uh, yeah, great to hear more about you, and, and, and great that you're having such a fantastic time. Um, I think we're gonna we're right. talking to the home straight now, aren't we? Really? We are. We've got a couple of little bits left to do. So now, I have got so many sequins and bits and pieces, but I love my sequin dies. So this one is Jewel of Love. We've got three of these um, in our collection and I decided to use this one because it's got the hearts. So I'm going to mix it with some of my frosty and bright sequins. Any sequins you've got. You can make your own sequins, you can use pre-made sequins. It really doesn't matter. But if you are going to make them, the biggest tip I can get you, give you is use a double-sided cardstock. Now, this one is from my luxury cardstock. Look, look at this poor pack. Look at this pack. I have got one glitter left and I've got three of the golden. I need to get... I, I, I have a spare one ready, Lily. Don't worry. <laughs> um, don't... So, I would... Part of me wanted to use the encapsulated glitter and it would cut, but it's white on the other side. That's not a problem, but it just means that putting it together takes a little bit longer. So I would always recommend you use a double-sided cardstock. And because when you pop this out of the die, they're going to jump all over the place. And if they pop over the other way, using a double-sided card, if you've got card that's two different colours, that's going to look amazing. But if you can find a piece of card, because you only need a piece three inches wide. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you need. This is brilliant. Again, if just for, imagine if I only had this piece of card, all I would do is lay it over there. It's the perfect scrap busting die. Absolutely. So you just put it, mm. you, can you see, I've just put it over yeah. there and just use what I need to. I'm actually going to use the whole sheet. Um, it just makes life so much easier if you've got double sided and I'll show you why. So I'm going to pop that onto my plate. I'm going to run that through and that's going to make me, I think it's about 72 hearts. I haven't counted really. Um, about <laughs> 72 hearts. You, do you know what? I wouldn't have surprised me if 50, you had. 50, 70, 70. That's 70. how many it's going to make. Yeah, in one pass. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. You see? So oh, now look at this. I'm not trying to say don't buy the stencils that we've just been showing you, but if you just bought the duet inks... Create your own stencils. We've now got another stencil. 
Mm. There we go. We've now got another sensor. Now, look at this. These have jumped all over the place. Yeah. But it really, really doesn't matter because they're double-sided. If these weren't double-sided, I'd be turning this one over. I'd be turning that one over. Do you know what can you see? I'd be having to turn so many of them over um, just to get them to do. So then yeah. I'm going to give this a tap. little tap. I'm just going to give it a gentle tap on the back and poke those out. There we go. They're all poked out. I've got a few more on here. If you want to do a couple of runs through of that, I like I like a meaty shaker. I don't like a skinny shaker. A meaty shaker. shaker. I know. I'm not into skinny shakers at no. all. They don't do it. And I, the thing I, is, I, if you're going to do it, do it properly, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. exactly. I'm going right. to pop that on to, onto there because I do. I need some more. I need another run through. Mm. That's, not, that's not enough. That's not meaty enough, is it? It's not. Come on. It's, you know, you don't want to ruin it just for that, what do they say, for the harp, a harpeth of tie. You don't want to, to ruin it whatever that's saying is. So I'm going to put that through. And I've got an electronic die cutting machine. These will go through your Gemini Mini. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They cut perfectly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. absolutely brilliantly. So they're, like say, you've got, there are three of the sequin dies in the set. This is just one of them. Um, and then, you know, you could be making so many lovely little sequins. Like I say, if you, fa if you get a little scrap of card and you think, what am I going to do with that? Then run it through and then just put them all in a bag for when you need them yeah and then you've got them um but yes it definitely pays for your double-sided i think just give that a little pat there we go come on <laughs> oh it's gone there we are so there we are bring that back in that was just a piece of card i put them on and that's going on there there we go so we can see i think that should do now because i'm going to put some of my sequined ones in so i'm going to put those to one side just there and i'm going to bring my card back in and then i'm going to create the other shaker so remember i asked you to cut two pieces of acetate yep. here is the second one so now we just need to make that up and then mm, there it is i need some tape and then now this is where it's about getting um getting that seal so i've actually got room to do it inside there i can go all the way around there and it's what we were saying earlier if you keep your foam close to the edge your sequins can't disappear off you know because there's a, if, if you did your acetate the same size as this back if you thought oh that would look neater can you imagine all your all your sequins are going to fall yeah. into all those places and you wouldn't see them so i'm just bringing this here as close as i can and you know it doesn't matter that this isn't central in my aperture all that matters is it's central on the front of my card because you know the back is you know you don't look at the back mm. so I'm putting that and can you see just sealing it off all the way around and then on the last one, popping that just through there. Um, one layer or two layers, it's entirely up to you um, and whichever height foam tape you have got. Yeah. So pop that on there and I'm just going to press that down. Then I'm going to get my sequins and I'm just going to pop those in. Spread them about a little bit. And I'm going to get... I just like these frosty and bright ones. This is quite a nice bag. I wonder if I've got a second bag, because this is quite full. And I'm just going oh, to I love a mixed meaty shaker. Yeah. A mixed meaty shaker. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm, okay. I very rarely use one thing in my shakers. I see. Even if I've not got anything else, I might put some chunky glitter in. Oh, yes. Or something. Chunky. I always tend to put two two things into my shakers yeah i just like i don't know i never really thought about it. it's just what i tend to do so just add loads and mix it up if you can that yeah. gives it more interest doesn't it it really does and make it meaty there we go now if you want to oh, make sure do you see i put all my shaker elements down before i took the um back of my foam tape yeah, um, okay. oh our lily does the opposite I find that when I drop them in, I get them stuck on my foam otherwise. Now, I've just put an extra little bit of glue yeah. on. Just, just belt and braces, really. Yeah. And Who I did I say that expression to the other day and they'd never heard it? Hadn't they? Belt and braces. I want to say it was... I think it was Debbie Robinson. 
I'm sure it was. Wow. And I said, oh, just belt and braces. That's so, quite a well-known expression, isn't it? It is. Yeah, when you're kind it of is. making sure that you've covered doubled all up and covered all, covered all bases, yeah. Yeah. So then I'm popping that on. There we go. If you wanted to, because I, I can either trim this um, acetate down that's on the back. I think it's absolutely fine because it's on the back. I'm I haven't lifted it up. I'm giving it a really good press before I do anything because I want to make sure I've got a really good seal on there. And look, that's going to all move around so that when we do that, you can see they're oh, all incredible. moving inside there. Yeah. So, yeah, that should be nicely sealed. So that's the back done. Mm -hmm. Nearly, nearly there. We are. This is yeah. This is not going to be bad timing actually. Early so, bath. Hmm? Early finish, isn't it? R early bath. Yeah. Early bath. So I've cut these. So what it's about doing now is seeing how long. Actually, I like the length of that one. That one works really well. Mm -hmm. And so then I need this one a little bit shorter. So I've got. There we go. We've got this here. So we're going to bring this one. And how did I do the last one? Yeah, I did that one. Oh yeah, I did the tails the opposite direction. So I'm going to pop that to there. So I'm going to trim. This one just across here to about that. Then I've already done, so I'm going to bring it back down to the bottom because I've already cut the angle right. Lay that on and then just give myself a tiny little border up at the top. And then I'm going to stick these together and I'm going to stick them on with foam pads. Okay. So we can pop this on here onto there. And what actually you could also do is if you wanted to, I could have done it. That way around, so I've got the reverse. That often looks nice. If you've mm. got double-sided papers, yep. to when you do these tails, to do the reverse. But if, as long as you're using um, a nice contrast behind, it actually looks really nice on there. Hannah says, I use glitter cardstock in the shaker for our anniversary. And I had to colour in the back of them with my alcohol pens. Exactly. It took ages. Probably yeah. should have coloured the back in first. Yeah, that would be, yeah. You could do that. All you need to do that is get um, a nice ink pad, yeah. something like our shimmer ink pad, and literally run the ink pad over the back, and that would work equally as well. Yeah. But hindsight is a great thing, isn't it? We can all we can all wax lyrical about those great ideas afterwards, but yes. Uh, just very quickly, just whilst we're watching Corin um, pop this on, the Summer Meadow, we're literally not going to have anything left for Second Chance Sunday. The Summer Meadow uh, paper pad, Next four people to check these out, they're gone. And uh, there will be more people than four with these in their basket right now. So if you have these in your basket, these need to get checked out now. They're not yours until you do. We have that weird system here where even if it's in your basket, someone presses uh, check out before you, it comes out of your basket. There are four left and there are many more people than four that want this collection. Uh, so if you want to make sure you grab it, the 12 by 12, the six by six and the linen, uh, next four people get it everyone else misses out. I cannot believe I am saying this on Mothering Sunday when it was supposed to be quiet, it was supposed to be laid back, uh, but no, it's the double points you guys are loving. It's the fact, I think, uh, that you're getting all of these uh, great deals, uh, spring savings, of course, on the website as well. Um, so grab whilst you can. The, the Summer Meadow is about to go. Okay, wow. right, we are nearly there. So we've just um, put that those on. So I've just put those on there. Doesn't matter which way around your tails because I've just realised I put those ones on that way around, didn't I? So oh, all yeah. I've done is entirely up to you whichever way. I put foam pads under there and then foam pads under this side so that it just sorts of overlaps. It's entirely up to you. I've got... I did see Lily came in she, and she, she went, oh, she does sequins. This is what just... What did she say? She, not sequins, um, gems, didn't you, Lily? You did like my gems, didn't you? Sheets she of gems. She spotted them. Sheets of gems. She's a bit of a magpie. She spotted it. You're um, a bit of a mad pirate, did you say? She's a big bit of a magpie. Oh, magpie. <laughs> I thought you said I'm a bit of a mad pirate. <laughs> So I've just put a couple of black gems on there. If you've got liquid pearls, you could use those, but it's quite handy when I'm coming here to do TV to use um, flat back pearls mm. on there just because they're dry. Right, now I need my sentiment. So I I had these on for the first time the other week. I only, I only got introduced to these the other week. So these are our expressions, mini expressions? Yeah, that... mini expressions. I think that's right. I have now, I have now because I did a show with them. So they come in two pieces. And I'm using the just for you. So I, I, on my finished one, I did a black and a green mat and then red. Yeah. But I'm going to 
swap it up. I think I'm going to do a green and a red mat, and then I'm going to do the sentiment in black to okay. make it pop, just because I can. So I'm going to take... Oh, look, I've got a throw sequin there. So take these. Again, these are going to fit through your mini die cutting machine. So I'm just going to cut the sentiment twice. I mean the mat layer twice, sorry. Yep. And I want to just show you how I did this, because I did it slightly different. I'm just looking for a scrap of red. It won't come out of that one. That's not big enough. It's OK. I do, I do try to be fairly frugal with my cardstock. I am pretty good. So linen cardstock is absolutely brilliant. So we can put, take that through there. Let's now, let me just double check. Oh, can I? Can I? Oh, I can get that in if I turn that. There we go. Look. No, I'm, it's not going to go. It's going to move and it's not going to, it's not, it's going to ruin it. So let's do it on there. I can use that for something else. Put that onto there. Piece of tape and cut. And actually what I can do while I'm doing that is look for a piece of black. Can I get that out of here? Yes. I can cut my black sentiment at the same time. Mm -hmm. Put that one on there. And these are still on my... Um, junior size plates still getting both of those on oh yeah getting them through really easily run that through so what we're going to do is we're going to take our mat if i got that which way around does that go it goes that way around and i've got my second mat which is my red one and i've also got my now these sentiment it comes in three pieces when you get these okay it, it's not one big sentiment. So right. I'm going to take that out of here. Three pieces, did you say? Three, just oh. for you. There you go, just for... Oh, I see. Yeah. You, when you look at it at first, you think it's going to be one word, one die cut, but it's not, it's three. Oh, I see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my mat like that. So I'm going to do a drop shadow. Yeah. But I want to do a double drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down the middle. And then I'm going to put some glue on here. And I'm going to pop this. Now, the other way you could have done this, actually, is what I could have done is, I'll show you just one minute, is I could have drawn around the die to get a second matte layer. So what I could have done is I could have laid that onto my cardstock and mm -hmm. drawn around. Because if you look, your die blade is on the inside of that layer. So if I'd have drawn around there and cut it out, I'd have had an e a second matte layer, but I didn't. I did it this way. So I'm going to pop that like that. So you can see now, and I will have the smallest gap in the middle. Let me turn it that way so I can see. But what I'll actually have is the drop shadow. Can you see I've got the drop shadow on both sides? Uh -huh. Just something I sometimes do and then I'm not going to use my dotty tape pen because it um, sometimes I, when I'm doing sentiments like this I sometimes find us I, I snag it and distort uh, it yes but look at how it cuts that sentiment absolutely beautifully so I'm going to do the just then I'm going to do the you I think the black really makes it stand out. I, you know, when I, when I looked at this, the one I practised on, I just thought there was something not quite right. And I think the black works really well. Just you. Just you. I don't know. When I did it practice, I put it, I put the, um, it this way around just because I thought it helped me with the spacing because mm. I wasn't quite sure where the four went. But once you've got the just and the you on... The four, obviously, is quite clear. Don't worry about a little bit of glue showing because it will soon move, um, or dry, rather. And then I'm going to get my foam pads. This is it, then. We're done. Yeah, we're That's done. not bad. That's not bad. That Ten is minutes. brilliant. So I'm going to go over the bit where there's a join. Just on there, I've got some smaller pads. I'm not going to cut up my large pads because they're like... They seem to be like gold dust around here, the larger pads. And then we're going to pop that one on... There, and I put one on that side, just there. There we go. There we go. I'm really interested to see um, what Tracy's done because I like, Me I too. do like it when we have guests on and they they use different paper pads or you know different the different ones from the collection. 
oh, it's always really interesting. Ms. Shaleen Lobdell, I'm glad our minds think alike. I was think, thinking something similar. You said the, the shape of that die looks like Goofy. <laughs> I was thinking exactly the same, like a cartoon mouse or something I was thinking. I didn't want to say it out loud, you know. I didn't want you guys thinking I was silly or anything like that. You know, there we you know. go. Never. So I'm popping that on the bottom corner. And that is the project finished. Ta -da! With 11 minutes to spare. That is brilliant. That I'm really is pleased. brilliant. Look at that. You can Do you know what? Through there. How fantastic is that? Look, yeah, we can see you through the little, here's a little wave through the window. <laughs> that is brilliant. And, and it's nice, isn't it, to get one done with a bit of time to spare. Yeah. But so super achievable, all broken down into small, manageable parts for you. Um, and again, if you were looking at that at the start, thinking, there's no way I could do that project. Absolutely, you can. Um, and of course, if you've already got those uh, dies in your collection at home, you choose the papers you want to work with. You choose the colours that you want to work with as far as your paper piecing is concerned. I think it's more for the fact that it's nice and simple for you to be able to put that card together. Really enjoyable project that anybody can tackle. Cool. Uh, thank you to um, Alison who's commented and Evelyn and Jean who says, I've just looked up belt and braces and this is the first time that I've heard that phrase. Uh, wow. We've visited our friends in the UK a few times and we've never heard this. Well, I'm, I'm going to start using it uh, a lot more now. Um, just to say, we're going to cross over to Tracy in just a few moments time just to see how she's getting on. Just to remind you of a few of the other deals whilst we uh, wait to do that. The Summer Meadow paper pads, uh, we have got, well, the last count four it does take our computer a little bit of time to catch up uh, <laughs> it takes a while so uh, I will just show you that again the super the super the uh, summer meadows there's four left or there was chances are they have probably already gone but if you've got them in your basket and you still have the actual opportunity to check out I would be doing that now there are three left I can update you on three chances left on the summer meadow pads 12 by 12 you get six by six you get and you also get that uh linen card so in the 12 by 12 as well 24 pounds 33.60 it really is uh, there's no point dwelling on it because it's going to sell out so uh as fast as you can on that please one thing which we do have more stock of thank goodness one thing we have stock of on this sunday woo! is the weekend wonder thank goodness for the weekend wonder is all i can say because uh it's going to be an interesting second chance sunday tonight i'll tell you that much i have no idea what we are going to be doing uh but the weekend wonder is still here this will be a, a case of it's it will go because of the time um it comes off tomorrow um so you need to grab it now if you like the look of it basically you get everything that you're seeing on screen here all you are paying for are the color blend pencils and the make a wish um, stamp and die set so those two you buy then uh, that's it that's more than the uh, value of what you're paying basically 36 pounds 36 dollars that and that is worth much more than that so everything else you get in for free free in the bundle we give you one of our opaque pigment ink pads that's the Bordeaux that's free we give you a bottle of again this is one of those things I always question because you know when we run out of things like dotty tape pens um, and then, then we, we end up giving them away for free this is another one of those things that always tends to disappear the glossy highlights but then we put it in a bundle uh, where you're getting it for the equivalent of zero so you get those two free two sets of our tricolor um, aqua markers as well uh, you get the floral meadow and then also the great outdoors great thing about these is the fact that it is three pens but once again you've got three different colors within each pen so it's 18 colors in total and of course because these are um, uh, water-based you've got the opportunity to mix all of those different colors up so yes uh, you know nine colors 18 colors but all of those different colors that you can mix and match around and then you get all of those different characters as well as far as your tags are concerned you've got the little dog in the you're the top dog the unicorn follow your dreams uh, who someone said earlier when they used that and sold loads at a uh, craft fair I can't remember who that was but yeah really really popular that one uh, you've then got the enjoy the little things and lastly in the set you've got the little fairy uh, so all of that is £36 or $36 look at the price on screen that you should pay £105 or $139 that's the price today and you will get double points on that too uh, what's everyone thought of the craft along I need to know please in the comments can you uh, let me know and also let me Know if you are going to be tackling this in the future too uh mary beth Doyle says great project corin uh, sarah ibbotson says spectacular it's like a stained glass window really yep. does create that uh wonderful sort of stained glass effect 
Um, and just before we disappear, I think we ought to pop on back to, and hopefully we've timed this pretty much perfectly, pop back to Wakefield and see how Tracy is uh, getting on. Have we timed it perfectly, Tracy? Are you done? I'm not back there, but it will only take a minutes. What do you think, Corinne? That is beautiful. I love the colours. That's amazing. That is gorgeous. Really works. I, I love that. Do you know what, as well? Uh, I think you've chosen perhaps one of the more difficult um, yes. images to paper piece. And the way you've done that looks incredible. I think so. Oh, well, I must say that it's my first ever shaker card. Wow. Is that right? Did you, have you enjoyed putting it together? Yeah, absolutely. I've really, really enjoyed it. Good. Uh, well, Thank you, Colin. It's my pleasure. I'm glad you've enjoyed it, sweetheart. Really good. Um, Tracy, just to say, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you on uh, once again. Uh, fi final pup update, or final pup date. Uh, what, what's the pup doing? Still sleeping? Fast asleep. Aww. Yeah. Well, we won't wake her up then, even, even though I'd love to see her again. Um, well, you can see her. I'll wake her up. Oh, no, 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 no. I feel really mean. <laughs> okay, do. Do. Yeah, do. Look. Look at her little face. Look at her face. It's like, so oh, cute. where was I? What's where was I? Oh, she is gorgeous. Can you get, look at her face. Oh, my gosh. Tracy, Hello. she is the cutest thing. It's Ruby, isn't it? Is it Ruby? Is her name Ruby? Yeah. Ruby. <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> I absolutely have fallen in love with her. Honestly, she's my best little child. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, that's it, though, isn't it? When you have pets, they do become like like your like your children. She looks like the this most sweetest, most lovely little dog. Um, and you, oh, you two look so cute together, don't they? Yes. I'm glad you enjoyed the craft song, and thank you so much for sharing Ruby with us. Uh, it's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I, I have so, so enjoyed it. It's Good. been lovely. Uh, well, well, when you finish, please put a picture on socials and tag Ben and I in it. We'd love to see your finished uh, project. Absolutely. I shall do that. That'd be lovely. Thank you. Oh. Uh, thank you so much, Tracy. Lots of love to you and uh, the rest of the, the furry gang there. And, and we'll see you very soon. I'm sure you'll do another craft along with us soon, won't you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks, Tracy. Bye, Ruby. Bye. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I mean, what more can you want from a Sunday afternoon? Some crafty fun and cute little puppies. Oh, my goodness me. Right. Uh, seriously, too cute. Thank you for all the lovely comments coming through. Uh, lots of love coming through for the project and the puppies as well. Um, just to say, also, on the website right now, our spring savings event ends midnight tonight. Uh, Corinne's pick for this hour shows you how busy it is. Gone, sold out, that workstation. Uh, you can still get the illustrators. I've got these in the uh, figure um, uh, colors. Those are on there with a 30% saving. In fact, you can pick those up for £17.49 or $31.49. And of course, on top of that, you will still get your discount as well, Club Inspire discount. More top picks coming your way at six o'clock, but they are there. Click on that save 70 up to 70% uh, link and you'll find loads more on the web. That is it. Uh, can I just tell you, it has been so super busy. If there's anything on this show um, or indeed across the day that you've seen that you love, make sure you check it out. The Summer Meadow Pads, I think we've got two of those left now. You've got to be quick. Anything you want. And also, by the way, the uh, showstopper on the duet ink pads hanging on by a thread. Once that easy grip mat sells out, that's that bundle broken. So my tip is uh, head to the checkout, check out whatever it is that uh, you've got in your basket um, and make sure you grab with the double points for today only. Corinne and I will be back with you in two hours time. Second chance Sunday. <laughs> um, <laughs> hashtag awkward name for the show because it's not going to be many chances because there's not much left on the show. But we'll find something to do we'll find something uh, but in the meantime thank you for watching a massive thank you to Corinne and we will see you back here in two hours time bye for now